Okay, guys, I'm seeing grass, forest, lots of ground in all directions. All good signs so far. Uh, um. Uh-huh. Verdict says, definitely not our world. You owe me two iron, Lucas. Pay up. Okay, okay. Here. <laughs> oh, come on, can't you hear it? The spooky forest? It's the sound of a new adventure. I bet this place is gonna be awesome. I hope you're right. I was just... Uh, I'm just worried about Axel and Olivia. What? Why? Well, if they followed us back to that old builder temple and went through the portal... They would arrive in Sky City to find it overflowing with monsters. Yeah. At least we already built them the bridge. No, I don't think they would have followed us. They had a lot going on in town. We'll get home and they'll be super jealous they missed out on all this. Well, I for one vote that we not be so hasty to try and get out of here. Who knows what sorts of treasures this new world could hold. Besides, unless the next portal is... Disguised as a tombstone? I'm not seeing it anywhere near here. You guys see some sort of shape over there? Yeah. What is that? Let's find out. It's a book. It says, invitation, and then read immediately, your life depends on it. <clears throat> Greetings, traveler. Yep, that seems about right. Keep reading, Jesse. We've got your back. I, I humbly invite you to my mansion for an evening of food and festivity with your fellow adventurers. That's odd. Yeah, weird, right? Whoa! <laughs> Yeah. Beat him with a book. Petra, any time now? You can read, right? Hang on, hang on. Need to find Jesse's place. Uh, got it. Come to my home on the hill. Just follow the path. Please look out for zombies. Sincerely, the host. Nice warning. Come on, there's the path. I must say, this is the highest concentration of zombies I've ever seen in one place. You think this host is gonna be legit, Jesse? I just asked because this place hasn't exactly been friendly so far. I'm suspicious too, Lucas. This has trap written all over it. Unfortunately, with all these zombies everywhere, we can't exactly stick around out here. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, that's the place we're looking for. Race you guys there. Oh, yeah. I don't race so much anymore. Bad, bad knees. Hey, just try not to die, okay? I'm trying to keep everyone together here. Sure, sure, that's fine. But you gotta catch me first. Oh, great. I hate that noise. Oh. Minecraft story mode. We got you, man. Oh, that's nice.
It's intense. You hear that too, right? Almost sounds like a waterfall! Uh oh. No! Fortnite, look at him. Fortnite moves. Yeah. Oh, nice. Execute maneuver sixty-six. <laughs> <Scary>. <laughs> Execute or maneuver sixty-six. There it is. The mansion on the hill. That's a big house. Woo! Nailed it! Okay, okay. You won that one, Jesse. Let's maybe get inside the mansion before we pat ourselves on the back too much, shall we? That front door's definitely a no-go. It's like a zombie apocalypse. Stick with me, guys. <laughs> Ivor keeps teleporting. What's happening? Ivor, quit messing with the Matrix, man. Creepy guy in the window. He had a white pumpkin for a head. White pumpkin? No such thing as white pumpkin. Let's save the agricultural discussions for inside, okay? <sighs> Great! There's no door back here. How are we supposed to get in? So what? Yeah, there's a window. There. We should be able to build up and break in through there. Trees. We can cut those down. Good plan. Now my inventory is full of wood blocks. Hey, you never know when those will come in handy. Looks like some kind of kitchen in there. Then break the window and get us into the blasted place! Hope the host doesn't mind us breaking their window. I'm sure he'll find it in his heart to forgive us. All right. Wow, some kitchen. Look, Doug, you know I don't care if you took it. Just give it back. And I'm telling you for the last time, Sparkles, I didn't take the stupid thing. I think we could avoid a lot of unpleasantness. Captain uh, Sparkles. Hi. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very, very funny. Show up super late and make us all sit and wonder what the heck is going on. Now, this is your house, right? Because if it is, we've all been waiting for, like, hours. It's rude. We got one of these invitations, too. What the heck is going on here? Darn. Sorry for the language. That wasn't about <laughs> you getting an invitation. Just that I was hoping you could explain things. This is Torque Dog. Sup. And I'm Captain Sparkles. Though, maybe you know that already. Captain Sparkles? I've got, like, nine million fans? Yeah, I actually have no idea who you are. <laughs> oh, really? Like, no idea? Like, none? Nope. Sorry, but... Uh, my name's Jesse, and that over there is Lucas and Petra and Ivor. Charmed. <laughs> Jesse? That's a girl's name. 
What are you guys anyway? Some sort of <clears throat> loser patrol? Talk dog. Oh, come on. That was hilarious. Ha! Ah, that's a good one. You you are very funny, I, uh, dog. Uh, wow. You know something? No one ever gets my sense of humor. I think I like you, Pipsqueak. Look, sorry if I was coming down harsh on you. You see, I was expecting to swoop in, score some sick snackage, and bounce, you know? But, uh, well, thanks to those stupid zombies, Torque Dog's trapped here with all these losers. Worst day ever. Maybe we can all work together to get through those zombies, power in numbers and all that? That's what we're trying to figure out. Just can't get everyone to work together. I tell huh. you what, the minute all them weird zombies are gone, uh. Torque Dog is out of here. Okay, so the sea of zombies isn't normal. It's good to hear. Two moons is normal, though, right? Um, the moons. Uh, yeah. Why don't you know about this stuff? Are you from, like, out of town or something? Ah! Oh. Did you hear that? Something touched my foot. Who touched my foot? I think Torque Dog. Torque Dog? <gasps> hey, uh -oh. Jesse. Jesse, come here. Oh, secret message. Secret message. You've got a, a girl's name. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Okay. Twerk dog. Tork dog? So I'm guessing calling dibs on his inventory would be Ivor. That poor guy, that's so awful. Yeah, he uh, seemed like a little bit of a jerk, but that's still a nasty way to go. All those arrows, his inventory, everywhere. How did that, who, one minute he's alive, the next, gone, poof. Sparkles, I know you're freaking out right now, but you've got to pull yourself together. Okay, okay, you're right. Woof. You're right. Everyone stand back. Let me see what I can figure out. This is, why is this happening? Those are poison Guys, arrows. Guys, found something strange about this arrow. Yeah, Ivor, you know potions and enchantments and weird stuff like that. What do you make of it? <sighs> mm. <laughs> Smells like, yes, potion of poison. Oh, is it a tipped arrow? Oh, I've heard of those. They're they're still pretty new. Oh, nasty stuff. Using potions to make arrows. The possibilities are fascinating. You ever seen them used like this before? In a trap like this? No way. Could have sworn I saw someone doing a tutorial on how to make those not too long ago. My nerves are too shot to remember who right now. Well, let me know if it comes back to you. Uh, who would do this? Gunpowder, redstone dust, leather pants. Pretty much what you'd expect, I guess. Uh. <gasps> oh. There's the trapdoor that sucked up Torque Dog's stuff. Looks like it's a match set with that arrow dispenser up there. But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Perhaps it was simply to dispose of the evidence. Hello? Everything okay in here? Whoa! What's with the crowd? I, uh, I was just about to get everyone together to tell them at once. Eldie Shadow Lady, right? Okay. <laughs> Hang on a minute. It's you. I recognize you. Excuse me? Uh, yes. What? Recognize us? How? I'll show you. Follow me. Um, okay. <laughs> Lizzie, hi. Did you see all these new. Oh, you've got them with you. <gasps> well, first it was huh? the portraits of the people already here, then poof. You guys. Whoa, that's unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. Well, not perfect. <laughs> absolutely perfect. <laughs> wow. 
must have been when we showed up. Flattering how well they captured our likenesses. I just can't figure it out. Who would have done this? We've kind of been asking ourselves the same question. And well, Torque Dog's that's definitely gone. not a good sign. Come on, everyone. Oh, let's huddle up in the dining room. Wonder if he told them yet. Can't wait to hear the big news. Me neither. Stacy plays Stampy Cat Dan 2DM. Ooh, I hope there's cake. Guess not. Come on, let's do this. Come on, Winslow. Yeah. Here, let me introduce you all. He properly. changed his hair. You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friends call me Lizzie. This is Stacy Plays, Stampy Cat, and that's Dan, the Diamond Minecart. When did your hair change color? Wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys <laughs> showed up, we all knew each other here. <laughs> okay. Their names are Jesse, Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. You said there was news? Is it good? Good news? Uh, yeah. It's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! Oh, no. Wait, what? But Torque Dog was so tough. There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth is going on here, Sparkles? These are what got him. Tipped arrows? Does this mean someone set a trap for Torque Dog? That's nasty. I can't believe Torque Dog's gone. Just like that. So, what happened to his stuff? Whoa! How can you say that? What? It's a valid question. Whoa. Come on, everyone. Come on. Don't get greedy. This stuff just disappeared. Went down this weird hole in the floor. Are we just supposed to take your word for that? Guys, I saw it too. Jesse was poking around in Torque Dog's stuff right before it got sucked into a hopper. So I'm looking at this situation. I'm trying to figure something out. Is this just about Torque Dog or is there a bigger picture? Yeah. Why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Talk Dog, I think this might just be about him. Am I picking up some beef here? Uh, what? No! I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, but then why invite us all here? That's true. Hadn't thought about that. Yeah. Well, someone brought us here for a reason, including Talk Dog. What if we're all in danger? Oh my gosh! Dan's right! Whoever's doing this, they could be hunting us! Hey, come on, everyone. If there's one thing I believe in, it's teamwork. If we all stick together and get through this as a team, we'll be fine. <laughs> Inspiring. There you go, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, okay. wow. Oh, all of this danger talk has my stomach all queasy. Stampy, come over here. I need to talk to you about something. Lizzie. Psst. Lizzie. The more I think about it, the more I think that there's something these people really don't want us to know. One of them's got to know the truth about what's going on here. Sounds like we've got a mystery to solve, people. Luckily, <sighs> Detective Jesse is on the case. Let's get investigating, then. Let's do that. Hey there, Dan. Lizzie? Oh, uh, hello? Hi there. If you don't mind, I actually had some questions about this Torque Dog situation. Yeah? Go ahead. It seemed like people were really interested in seeing Torque Dog's inventory. Any idea why? An adventurer like him? He could have had all kinds of cool stuff. Uh-huh. Torque Dog was clearly targeted with this trap. Why him? Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. Wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical talk dog. So this rare item that Torque Dog claimed to have? What can you tell me about it? We don't know exactly. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Lizzie, seems like you're not much of a Torque Dog fan. What's the deal? Oh, come on. You met him, right? Nobody liked that guy. I'm just the only one who will actually admit it. He, um, yeah, he definitely wasn't the nicest person. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. 
What'd you find out? Okay. It's all tangled up, but it sounds like Torque Dog claimed to have some sort of rare item. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. Yeah, something's not quite adding up here. What, he have a cake for Stampy Cat? <laughs> what is this block? Is this diorite? This needs to be in the base game. It looks so good. Hey, guys. It's like a Stampy marble. and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello. Hey, Jesse. What's up? I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Oh, really? Uh, but what? Um... Seems like Lizzie and Torque Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Oh, that! Real shame, real shame. He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. She was super upset about it. You don't say. Stacy, you seem pretty curious about what was in Torque Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Torque Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Mm hmm. Anyone you can think of that would want something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Um, well, I never had that big of a problem with him personally, but I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. I don't know if you noticed, but. He was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. Thief, huh? Interesting. Thanks, you two. This has been enlightening. No problem. Yeah, no problem. So, did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Stampy Cat? <clears throat> right. Yeah. So, did you find anything out? <laughs> Apparently, Torque Dog was a well known thief. A thief, huh? Sturdy cat. That might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. Bag on sturdy cat. All right, Cassie and Sparkles. Hey, Sparkles and Cassie Rose. Yeah. Yep. Hi, that's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi too. <laughs> you mind if I ask you guys some questions? Okay. Nope. What are the questions? Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? Oh, gosh. Gosh. Um, he was a little prickly around the edges, you know? You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say anything mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but, well, you met him, right? Prickly is kind of an understatement. Cassie, you seem pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Torque Dog's inventory. Oh. Was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. Why was that? Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. Just made me mad, I guess. I asked Stacy about why she wanted to see Torque Dog's inventory so bad. She said she was just curious. Huh, just like me. What a coincidence. You... What? It was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Got any insight? Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that. Especially now that Torque Dog is... You know... But it's weird, right? Definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I um, want to get into rumors or anything like that. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow, thanks for the time. No problem. Uh, yeah, anytime. Get anything mm. out of them? Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. That's definitely something. So, Torque Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare, but I feel like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Well, now my curiosity is piqued. Oh, thank goodness someone's being direct with me. Thanks, Sparkles. There's a temple. Way out in the middle of nowhere. No one knows who built it, but it's been there forever. It's the Flint People and Steel. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure. It's supposedly deep in its basement. Now, it looks just like an ordinary Flint and Steel, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment on it. It can open portals to other worlds? Exactly. Wait, what? You know about the enchanted Flint and Steel? How did you know that? Have you, have you seen it? Have you seen it today? 
I actually have one of my own. Really? Yeah, I do. Just use it a little no, while ago to put get that away. You, you can't just pull that out here. Okay. Uh, you know, I had a theory about why you were here, and I, I think this might just prove it. Okay. Everyone? Everyone? We've all been freaking out, wondering why we were all brought here. Why uh, Torque Dog died? Uh, and Jesse has just uncovered a very important clue. What? Really? Whoever killed Torque Dog. Whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. Ah! Oh. Sparkles? Panic, 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 one of you is the treasure I desire. No. I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. Where are you gonna go? So much for a nice dinner party. Ah, okay. Oh Sorry no. Did she open the front door? She did. Why would no close it? Close the door. Shut the door, shut the door. Ah. Shut the freaking door! Oh, okay. Come here, Winslow. Don't be scared. So we're stuck in here. And if we're stuck in here, we're all doomed. I thought I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Dan changes oh, hair again. Please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously, Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? Uh oh. Well, I guess I'm next then. Nope, not happening. But your inventory's clean, right? No flint and steel? Why would he want you? I suppose he's just being thorough. Also, I'm sure I've got something he wants. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the White Pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque Dog, trap. Sparkles. Trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. All right, I'm going to investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. Well, I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Yeah. Okay, people, clear out. This is a crime scene! <laughs> Looks like big nose on them. Okay, how are you doing this, White Pumpkin? Impressive. Anything? Nah, it looks like a regular old fireplace. Is it raining inside? It's raining inside. Oh, no, that's outside. That is cake. Okay, so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before... There's a button. Okay, let's give this a shot. Just oh. like before. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of Just you like is before. the treasure I desire. And I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort 
It's an armor stand. It's just a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for the voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. The Light Pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to rig up. I think it could have been to throw us off the trail, make us think there were two White Pumpkins or something. Well, hopefully Maybe. something else in here can shed a little more light on the situation. Jesse! He's back! The White Pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone. It's just a dummy. A White Pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles, the whole show with the white pumpkin, it was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. It means that the white pumpkin sat at this very table and pushed the button. Wait, so you're saying that the white pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. Okay. And he sat right here. No. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? Uh -oh. I'll see if I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Yes. I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far, though, right? We need to figure out the most likely suspects and interrogate them. Judging by the tipped arrows in these traps, the White Pumpkin must have some serious chops in brewing and redstone. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These he are changed the seats his hair that again. a button to activate the trap. That means the White Pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Hey, 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 I'm not accusing anyone. Yet. It sure sounds like you're accusing us, stranger. And I don't care for it. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I got a whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. <sighs> Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Damn. Damn. Just go down the just go down the line, you know. White pumpkin. He changed his hair again. I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and steel everyone's talking about, I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps, everyone accusing and blaming each other. Wow, this flint and steel means a lot to you, doesn't it? You don't get it. Lizzie and I have been chasing each other to get that thing for years. And now people are dying because of it? I just want you to know the truth. I'm not the White Pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? Hmm. Out with it. Who stole the flint and steel? Oh, well, Lizzie, obviously. She was jealous. Never got over the fact that I found it first. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions? Nuh-uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? I've asked Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. I always go to her with potion questions. Noted. Okay. So, how do you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Oof, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the Tri-Block Champion. Tri-Block Champion? Yeah, for three years running. Eh, good to know. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. Who's up next? Stacy. 
Oh wait, it's not Stacy. Send Stampy in here. Right. Hello. Uh, I saw Dan on his way out, and I don't know what he told you, but Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Total misunderstanding. I don't even want that flint and steel thingy. Not um as much as the others, at any rate. Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals. No, sir. Not for all, Mr. Stampy Cat, thank you. It's me, Stampy! Everyone's friend! I gotta say, Stampy, you seem nervous. Everything okay? You comfortable? Um, what? No, I'm not nervous. No, totally comfortable. I could fall asleep right here, right now. I'm that comfortable, honestly. <laughs> Please, just tell me what you want to know. Okay. Okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? Honestly, I think it was Lizzie. She wanted to get it back from Dan. Don't think she ever really got over him sniping her for it. Sad, really. What do you know about redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Oh, well, you know, about average. Average level moderate. I don't know how these things are graded these days. That's strange. I heard from Dan that you were the Tri-Block champion. Me? Hey, what? <laughs> no, no, no. I wish. <laughs> no, he must be mistaken. But, um, I have seen Lizzie do some pretty amazing things with Redstone. Just putting that out there, if you're curious. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. What is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest. You know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. She's wild about potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Good. Everybody's potions, blaming Lizzie. Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> His laugh. You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Ah, oh, thank goodness. This room's making me very nervous. And just make sure to ask Lizzie about that magic arrow. She's very good with those things. Want me to send in Lizzie? That'd be great. Thanks, Petra. Jesse, listen. There's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe. But I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it stung to have Dan, Dan, swoop in and take it from under my nose? Hang on, I thought you said you found it. Well, I as good as found it. I did the research, I did the studying, I was all prepared to go in there and finally get it when that little goggle-wearing goon swept in and stole it first. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? Know what this okay. is? Tipped arrow. Kind of shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. <laughs> what? Yeah, I knew what a tipped arrow was. I'm a good brewer. Doesn't mean it's mine. I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those ages ago. No, because everyone else seems to think otherwise. What? What are you talking about? Yeah. Everyone I ask says that you're the only one with the skills here to make something like this. Okay, sure. Of the people here, maybe. Doesn't make me the white pumpkin, though. And I'm not sure I like you implying otherwise. You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. He was the tri-block champion. So I've heard. I'm just gonna be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. Between you and me, though, I think Dan's whole story about it being stolen from him is a load of trash. I bet he's still got it. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. Oh, come on! This is nuts! You had a button, too! Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to 
Point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. No, it's been rough. These people have so much drama going on, it's hard to tell what's about the flint and steel, what's about the white pumpkin. Well, I know you can do it. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the white pumpkin really is? Now, hang on. Hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. Where are your suspicions, Lady Jesse? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was oh, in there way God. longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. Hmm. I'm sorry, Dan. Having gone through all the evidence, I'm leaning towards Dan right now. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you serious? Are you really serious right There's now? There's way too much drama around Dan wanting his flint and steel back. It's pretty suspicious. True. Guys, guys, you're not really listening to this, are you? I say we lock him up in the library. Figure out what to do with him in the morning. I fully endorse this plan. Sorry, Dan, but we can't take any chances no, here. No, this is nuts. I'm not the white pumpkin. Aren't you hearing how crazy that sounds? Well, that was certainly some excitement. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. If the white pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the white pumpkin is, how they're operating. However the white pumpkin did it, he must have done it from the kitchen. Yes. Seems like it might be worth our while to poke around the kitchen. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. True. Back in the kitchen. Oh, so, man. what are we looking for exactly? Buttons like back in the dining room? There are too many loose ends flying around. A lot of evidence that doesn't add up. We need to find some definitive, concrete evidence. Got it. I'm on the lookout. Okay, is there a button or a lever? I say what you would check outside. Hmm, huh, I wonder where Torque Dog's stuff went when he got sucked away. And Sparkle's stuff, for that matter. True. Painting. There's holes in it. There's holes in the eyes. Does this painting have eye holes? Oh, yeah. How'd I not notice that before? Uh, Seems worth taking a closer inspection. Oh. There's the lever. Some sort of secret passageway. Very clever. What do you suppose that lever does? Okay, everyone, make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap. More of those potion-covered arrows. Nasty. Mm. Well, seems like we found out how the white pumpkin killed Torque Dog. Yeah, and how he's getting around the house. I assume we're investigating the creepy passageway? I think we've come too far to turn around now. Fair well, point. After you then. I hope Dan's okay locked up in the library. We could have put them in even bigger danger. What if there are more traps in there? Unless Dan is the white pumpkin. In that case, we're just keeping everyone else safe. Yeah, I guess. I just hope we find what we're looking for. What do you think that is? No idea. But look, a lever! Don't flick it. Ivor, no! What do you think I am? Gents, I was just looking at it. <laughs> oh, good. Thanks for the vote of confidence, though. <laughs> Anything that this lever 
Ezra might be connected to. Where does this go? A rabbit? What do you see? The library. It's the library. <laughs> I see Dan locked up in there. Lizzie, what are you doing in here? I snuck in past that blonde guy. Lucas, I think. We have to talk. About what? I know you pushed the button. No, that's not true. You don't have to lie to me, Dan. I know it was an accident. I know you're not the white pumpkin. Oh, thank goodness. That's such a relief. Yeah, um. it was an accident, and I felt awful about it ever since. Oh, it's such a relief to be able to talk about this. It's been um. absolutely tearing me up inside. I'm sure. I just... Haven't you learned anything about the not white pushing pumpkin, buttons? He's in there. Oh, come oh, let's on. Go Nothing kick like this has ever happened when I pushed a button. I feel just so awful. Yeah. What? What on earth? Oh, no. What's going on? Door's locked, Jesse. Spiders, they're everywhere! Okay, I'll see if I can get in another way! Help Dan and Lizzie. We can get the white pumpkin another time. Ooh. Uh, Dan, behind you. Thanks. He's gone. For now, time to get to the bottom of this. I was watching you from the walls. We need to talk. Oh, no, 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 no. You heard the part where I said it was an accident, right? I'm innocent. What do I have to do to make you believe me? I could, I could go and sit in the corner very quietly and not touch anything, button or otherwise, for the whole rest it's of the night. It's not Dan. Don't worry, Dan. I believe you. Oh, that's a relief. That's a huge relief. Wait, you came out of that portrait in the wall, right? Yeah. I saw one just like that upstairs. What if, yes, maybe the white pumpkin. Oh! <gasps> Join the party. <laughs> That's my cue. Come on. He just killed Lizzie. Jesse, are you okay? 